fantastic songwriters and fantastic records they made. Um, and they had a brilliant kind of image and the whole thing. They're good people behind them. But they weren't a really good live band, you see. Uh, I know you've got all the screamers and that, so it didn't matter. But when it came down to listening to them, they weren't. And they weren't very good visually, you know. Right. As far as I'm concerned. Not compared with, like, the animals and the stones, for instance. We were a really great live band. Yeah. But we didn't make very good records and we didn't write very good songs at the beginning. I'm talking about 63, 64. Yes. Right at the very beginning. So, so when people went to see bands like the Beatles, like the Searchers, Dave Clark Five, yeah. Herman's Hermits, so so, who made what people thought were good records. I didn't, but people bought yeah. them. When they went to see them, they were disappointed by them because right. they weren't good live. And then we weren't having top ten or top five records, but when people went to see us, we knocked on flats. And, we, and, and that was the difference between the Beatles and the Stones, I think, was that. Uh, mm -hmm. We were better live than they were, and they were better writers and record words than they were. Favourite song that the Beatles did? Is there one that comes to mind? Little? Yeah, it was loads. Get Back, I like. I think Get Back. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, those kind of songs. The other ones I like. A bit of a... To me, when the Beatles started out, and I wasn't really interested in rock and roll when I was two, I was like Sweets. And um, I prefer Sweets now to the Beatles. I always have been. I've never really rated the Beatles. If they tried to play the kind of music they did, then if they tried to play it now, It'd be one of the funniest things going. You jealous guy, we feel that you had a, a great love for Beatles and the Beatles music, John Lennon in particular. Yeah. Is that correct? If so, what effect have they and their music had on you and your career? I think the most important thing uh, about the Beatles and with me, John Lennon in particular, I mean, he was my favourite kind of English uh, songwriter, performer, yeah. singer. And um, the fact that they were English was incredibly important because before that, most English music was really awful. Uh, all one's kind of influences before that were very much American, and with me, kind of black American music, you know, soul music. Right. And suddenly you had these people from a northern industrial town, which is the sort of area that I come from, in fact, yeah. um, who were doing things which were as well as being very melodic and clever, had a great kind of soul quality, very soulful music and a lot of feeling and so on. And uh, that was the main kind of in, main ingredient for me. The fact that music you could actually uh, made your hair sort of stand on end, you know, when you heard it. And Lennon's voice had that, that sort of impact on me. I think that's one of their greatest impacts, uh, that their, their breadth and variety, you know, because Lennon was the kind of Bob dylan -y sort of raucous raw edge side of it, McCartney was the sort of melodic, sweeter thing. And the two combined had, had a great sort of uh, mixture, a great result, and uh, I think the songwriting had a strong influence over lots of people. Uh, and and their, their appeal, their general appeal. You no can't sell a record. But the, the Beatles adopted, I think in their beginning anyway, with the mop top and the, sh the collar, whatever, you know, them Beatles suits that they all were. And I think it was very important in their day because it created a whole thing of the swinging 60s. I actually saw the Beatles when I was six in a place called Rill in North Wales. And I, I think I remember, I, I liked it anyway, but I mean, I don't remember too much about it. Did their music have any effect on yours? Not, not really, no, but um, not, not, not at all. But um, I, I, I mean, I, I, th I think they write you know, they wrote classic songs. I mean, and they, you know, they still come up and they still sound great today. Could you give us your favourite Beatle? I think it's Paul, because I've actually met him a few times and I know his daughter very well. Uh, yeah, I think he's nice and he's, well, I, I like some of the stuff that he's doing. What effect do you think the Beatles, who had hits, what, 20 years ago now, are having on music today? Uh, it's difficult to tell, really, isn't it? It's probably a sort of subliminal uh, influence. They had great haircuts <laughs> and great suits and great Chelsea boots, but uh, I think maybe uh, lots of different influences influence the sort of young groups today. Do you think if the Beatles were put into today and were coming up as ABC are? They wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> no, I don't know. I suppose uh, if, if, this, if the songs are strong, yeah, but they'd have to pull a few punches, yeah. Now it's entirely different, 1982, 1983, 1984 is entirely different from 1960 or whenever it was when the Beatles first started. Well, I think that's a really 
you got to be really careful when you're saying that because the Beatles were the group and I don't think anyone can match them. Um, it's a compliment, but uh, I don't think I don't think we're anywhere near them, really. I think um, we're getting a hell of a lot more response to what a lot of other bands get, but no, it doesn't compare with the Beatles at all. I mean, if people read that we are the next Beatles and they came to see us, I think they'd be disappointed with the reaction.